Hello, bitches. Hi, guys. Welcome to a brand new video. Today, I'll be reacting to Dickinson, season two, episode six. We are now in the, the second half of the season. Um, in the last episode, Emily had a hallucination of having sex with Sam. And I don't trust Sam. And I just think Sam is using her. I just get the worst vibe from him. I, he, you know, he sleeps around, blah, blah, blah. Is his wife even real? I don't know. But Emily was started to write a letter to Mary, the wife. And she had hallucinations of her having sex with him. Um, Sue, on the other hand, is still going through it. She's still living her influencer life. And she wants to get her, you know, her estate, like, you know, published or whatever, like, by Sam again. So, like, it's two very different things with Sam in the middle, and I don't like it. But, like, Sue is, you know, kind of validating Emily, saying you can trust him. Like, you know, you've worked so hard, but she has. But, like, we just don't know. I, I feel like we don't know that Sam has ulterior motives. You know, which could probably harm Emily and maybe Sue in the process. So I'm a bit stressed about that. Um, so look, bitch, it's been a minute, okay? I just, I just want Sam out of my face. I just, every time he's on the screen, I just, I'm just like, no. Like, no, sir, no deal, bitch. Like, get off my screen. I, I can't. But anyways, um, let's just see what's going to happen in episode six. Um, so without further ado, let's just get right into this week's video. Let's go. Oh. Look at Haley. Jesus, she's so gorgeous. We know, but. We are here. <laughs> 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 this is Dickens has got a good voice on her. She could be a singer, man. Ditch the husband. You got a career vocally, honey. Like musically talented. She got this. She's born for the stage this one. I'm telling you. I'm overwrought. Why do you always use such big words? Uh, this better be entertaining. Red flag. It cost me an arm and a... She wore her cape. Hi. Oh my god. Are you kidding? Still, you look incredible. Literally, she looks elegant for what the fuck? She looks like the queen. She is. No, but she looks... Uh, I'm, t I'm just telling you. Sue in her villain era. Not really her villain era, but like her villain era. The outfit choices they're giving her. Like, bitch, she looks incredible. How Emily hasn't jumped her is beyond me. Like, seriously, how are y'all keeping your distance? Because I'd be like, you know, like Anthony and Kate in, in Bridgerton Season 2. Like, how are y'all, like, not together at this point? Because holy shit. Like, incredible. She looks beautiful. Oh, do all of you. Isn't that for a night or two? I wouldn't stay there. I mean, hello? I guess I don't think you could afford Look at to her. stay there for much longer. Yeah. Oh. Is there no escaping this man? We're thrilled to be up in that box. Wait a minute. Where are we sitting? Wait, so Sam got the tickets? Are we depending on this man for everything? Because I'm just like, no. Like, it really seems like we're just depending out, you know, on him now. Like, he's supplying the tickets, blah, blah, blah. Like, this man is mooching off all of you. Well, he's not, but like, he is just... Bad news! I My gut is just no. No. I thought you wanted to talk. Oh. No, not really. I just, just want to talk to you. Oh! Sorry. Where's Mary? Oh, she, um, she couldn't come. How I'm convenient. Dying. I'm dying to see her. Yes. Well, uh, she wasn't feeling very well. Yes, because now you can sit with Sam in his box. Sue, why? Susan, why? Why would you say that? <laughs> sit with him in his box. <laughs> Susan, why would you say that? Why would you say that? Why would you say, honey? I love you, but why would you say that? This may be the episode. This may be the episode where I break, and I'm just like I can't watch him anymore. I may break. I don't know, but like, why? You know. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. I mean, it Especially is. for such a sensitive artist as Emily. But, like... If she's down there all the way in the back, she won't even be able to see. Remember, she has eye troubles. <laughs> Sorry, it's not funny. <laughs> all right, well, I suppose there's no point in having an empty seat. <laughs> no, they're using her eye trouble against. <laughs> I'm sorry, that just called me a bit of a guy. She got she has eye trouble. Why is Sue so adamant on having this work out? 
like, Sue's not, I don't want to say forcing it, but she's like, you know, it seems to be like she's the number one stan, apparently, of, of Emily and Sam. Like, I'm just like, girl, why? Like, I, I know she wants Emily to thrive and do well, and, you know, Sam's the key, whatever, I get it. But, like, I'm just like, honey, no, like, cut the cameras. Can't wait to hear this Adelaide May sing tonight. Maybe it was his plan Everyone to get her up there by herself. Drops. Hmm. Oh my god, Sue's like... Oh look! Hey mom! But did you see that Sue was like sitting across from her, like on the other side? I know it's it, it's in my head that that's romantic, okay? In my head, that's like the romantic, she's all across the room. I'm not, okay, I'm taking my crumbs. Fraser, my old buddy from school. Great guy, son of the college president. Okay, cool. <sighs> You must remember him. We used to have such good times. You still have good times. Don't you? Ooh. <laughs> Careful. You will never become part of their soul. Cool. I really love Vinny. Take a piss. This man is so uninterested. Like, really? I'm aware. Vinny, no. This man is not for you. And, well, she knows that. She didn't want to marry him anyway. So it's not her fault. She got trapped into it. But, like, he just really does not give two shits about her. Like... Yeah, he wants to marry her, but like for what? Because he wants an obedient wife. Like, that's literally all he wants. Like, so no. Like, he doesn't listen to what she says. Like, if you really love her, you would pay attention to her. That fuck's this bullshit. I'm not surprised. So many of my dreams have come true since I met you. Before I met you, I was nobody. Don't say now, that. Now my poem will be published. No, but I don't like her talking like that because like she wasn't nobody before he she met him. But how interesting she says nobody. In, remember nobody? Interesting that she says that. But like before she met him, yeah, she wasn't up. She wasn't going to be a published writer, but like oh, sorry, a published poet. But she was still Emily Dickinson. Like she was still her own person. You know. And yeah, he's changed. He got things into gear, or whatever. But she shouldn't lose sight of who she is just because of one man. You know. But don't lose who you are. Like, maybe she got lost, remember? Like, she still got to find herself because he, this man, mm, I don't know. Emily, we have a problem. What? We do? do you, you wrote a letter to Mary, and it made her feel extremely uncomfortable. Both of us, I should say, it made both of us uncomfortable. What the fuck? Hmm. Nah, there's something that doesn't sit right with me. Is that why she didn't come to the opera? She was feeling... Nah, I mean, I don't, I, that's some, nah something's off me. I'm telling you. Something's off. Because your letter made her feel so violated. You said I was like the sun. Like you're cold whenever I'm not there. Like every time I leave Amherst, winter sets in. Because it's how I feel. I'm yeah. about a married man. To his wife. Oh, okay. She wrote that Sam's the son. Why would you write that? No, but like, you are the son, Emily. He is not the son. But like, she wrote that Sam's the son, you know. And every time he comes into her life, he warms. And like, that's what she wrote about, right? Because she obviously had the sex dream hallucination of him. So I could see why she would feel like I could see why. If she's even alive. Or, like, if she even exists. But, like, I don't know, man. There's something... I, I, there's something off. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I, I feel odd and I feel off with him. I didn't mean to upset her. I was only trying to express yes, well, my gratitude. Listen, and you went a yeah, little yeah, yeah. too far this time. I'm sorry. I lose control. All the gossips on the East Coast think I have ulterior motives. And Mary, she hears these whispers. It is purely professional. Okay. You don't understand that, don't you? No, but hold on, okay. I can see why Emily, you know... I get. I know Emily, the way Emily would write the poem about him being the son, like... 
because he's helped her a lot and she's very grateful. She, has, she said she has gratitude. I can see in the way that she meant it. And I get how the wife could take it. Because, you know, about the rumours and stuff. But I just don't know if I believe what he's saying. Like, obviously, we know Emily would never intentionally hurt anybody. Obviously, we know this. Like, she's a pure heart. Like, we know she would never intentionally hurt anybody. But, like, I don't know. I just, I don't know. Something about this situation just seems... My, I told you, my... I don't know. I'm conflicted because I'm just like, I don't know what to believe. But, like, obviously, I don't believe him, but... He's very convincing, but I, until I know the truth, I don't know. Because he's convincing as shit, but I don't fucking know. I didn't mean to do anything wrong. I have the utmost respect for your marriage. Yeah, I know. The romance? It's between you and yourself. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I feel like she never even really... She never thought of him in that romantic way anyways. Until, like, the last episode when, like, she had the hallucination about him. But, like... I don't, just, I don't know, just hearing all the rumours and stuff, it's kind of like... She's like, why well, is that why he likes me? Because of all the poetry. And I don't know, it's it's very... But I, 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 I don't trust him. I'm still going to stick to my gut in saying that I don't trust him. Look at that, they're looking at each other. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Dickinson. Oh, really, sir? Now? Like, okay, you're bored. Okay, that's fine. But, like, really? Like, really? Okay. I told you, red flag, man. All over. She's riveting, isn't she? I saw that look. So oh, they're holding him. I saw that look, bitch. I'm faithful to my wife. And then he fucking says to Emily like that. And then they're gonna... Don't. Oh, bitch. Bitch, bitch. I have to go. Okay, T. I shouldn't have come. I have something for you. Oh no. So he's doing the right things. Like, he's doing the right things, you know, not engaging, you know, if it's... Because I know Emily's kind of got the hots for him a little bit. But, like... I don't know, man. The way he just looked at her before, before she grabbed his hand, like... Wait, did she grab his hand or did he grab hers? Nah, she grabbed his hand. But he looked at... I don't know. I, I don't know oh, it's... I am conflicted, bitch. Because he seems to be faithful. He seems to be. But this... I'm waiting for the other shoe to drop. I'm waiting. I mean, it's happened. It's gonna happen. I don't like her feeling like this because I don't know, man. Oh, she's envisioning that she's singing her poem. Oh, Sue! It's Sue! It's Sue! It's Sue, bitch. It's Sue. I just realised. I was like, oh! Not Sue singing her poem. Fine, bitch. Oh! <laughs> Oh, she's such a great singer. Oh, so, oh my god. <laughs> Didn't expect her to be singing her poem. But here we are. Oh, go off, honey. I have goosebumps. <laughs> Let's see, she wrote that about Sam, but maybe it's her true feelings about Sue still. I don't know, because remember, she always writes about Sue, kind of. So, like, maybe... She's trying to, in a way, move on. I'm, I mean, I'm just guessing. I could be totally wrong. Maybe she's trying to move on from Sue, but it's still about Sue. Like, I mean, come on. She couldn't envision anybody else singing 
it, but it's Sue. She's envisioning Sue singing in her poem to her. Gush after gush, reserved for you. Holy shit! Sorry. Now do you doubt that your bird was true? I'm fucking dead! Are you kidding No man, Allah Hunt, where is her standing ovation? Allah Hunt don't. This woman, this woman, her voice. Like we've got a little snippet of, of Sue singing in the other episode, but nothing like this. Like, are you kidding me? How you when this aired, how did y'all feel? Did the gays die? Because I I'm literally like, there's even a tear there, don't even. This, I literally said Emma Sue Crumbs. They give me a whole fucking three-course meal, bitch. Lord, help me in this time. Our Father who art in heaven. Bitch, are you kidding me? Her vocal range? Oh! It's the way I just really wanted a Hayley Alla duet. Because I know they both can sing. Like, just saying. No, bitch! Bob after Bob. I'm actually having a heart attack. <laughs> to Sue. To Sue. To Emma Sue. Oh my god. Is that not the most perfect thing you've ever heard? I'm going to literally re-watch re -watch that scene. Because holy shit. The emotion, the power. You want me to find them after the show for a drink? Uh, so what? You're leaving me here? Or with whoever you want. Oh shit! Austin's not having it. Maybe he finally snapped. I was like, not enough. I don't know, man. That's all. Oh. oh, but is it just me? Maybe he's meant Emily. That's just me being crazy, right? Right. Think I'm with the press. <laughs> A girl reporter. I've never heard of that. <laughs> Yes, I'm with the Springfield Republican. Interviews are for desperate people like us, the real stars. They can just hide. That's interesting. Why would he say that, huh? Interesting. I don't have the energy. Fans are so overwhelming. They love me so much, it's like they want to kill me. I'm just here to tell you how amazing you are. Oh, you're one of them. <laughs> Listening to you made me feel things that I have... Never felt before. Interesting. Really, what's that like? Interesting. What? About Sue? Feeling things. You just saw the most moving performance, and yet I felt nothing. <laughs> I don't even know what city this is. Is this Paris? Oh, no. Do you reckon maybe this is like... Because you know how Emily wants to be famous, or like, you know, their poetry and stuff. And this girl has become famous, and she's... And now it's like kind of like, this is what Emily could become... Maybe, like you have a star who doesn't care about the fans, or like, or you know, it gets it's very overwhelming for her. Like she doesn't feel anything anymore. She used to, but not anymore. Maybe it's kind of in a way relating to what Emily's going through. Like she, she's at the beginning of her career. This lady is like you know already in the middle of it all, but already she's just like I'm overwhelmed. I'm tired. Like I just don't have the energy anymore. Like I feel nothing anymore. Like maybe this is what Emily could become. I guess. It's very interesting. I lose track of reality. What is reality? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who am I? You're Adelaide May. The voice fades, and then memory fades. Things go in and out of fashion. Time Damn. goes on, and all of us eventually are forgotten. Would you like to see the state? Really? Would you believe me now? Come with me. This is a cute bond. I like it. This is cute. I like what they're doing. It's it's sad that this is how she feels, um, Adelaide. Because, like, you know, if you're following your passion, you should be able to feel something. And if you don't feel it, it's, it, it, you get, it gets lost along the way and it becomes, like, you know, an everyday thing. Like, it's not special anymore kind of thing. And I don't want Emily to, like lose faith in her poetry or whatever, or, like, just write because she has to, not because it's, she wants, not because uh, she has to, because she wants, she wants, wait, I'm trying to say, I want Emma to be able to write because she wants to, not because she has to, you know? I still want her to love what she writes. 
No, I'm gonna get emotional because like she wants this. No, why does that be emotional? Shut the fuck up. It's just like she really wants this, but I'm just like having this her dream being so close, you know. For, sorry, her being so close to achieving her dream, like it's making me a little emotional. Like seeing her, you know, envision this in front of all these because that could be her. But like, you gotta really ask her, do you really, really want? Like, is is this the right way to go about? It? Like, I don't know, but just seeing everyone cheer for her, like, bitch, like, oh my god. Oh, don't show me his face. Why do you want to be famous? Because I'm a writer. And I write and write and write poem. So they need to be seen. Don't I need to be seen? I don't know. I'll get sick of you and they'll destroy you. They hate you, see, because you made them love you. Might as well stay in a room by yourself with no one watching. No, but this woman's spilling some tea. This Adelaide lady is spilling some tea. Like, you know, you can publish your writing and, you know, but you'll be, you know, it's just, it's very, it's like you just got to really make sure you want to be famous for the right reasons kind of thing, you know? And yeah, Emily deserves to have her poetry out there because she's talented and she deserves to have everyone read her poems and feel what Sue feels in a way. I know it's a little bit different, but you know what I mean. But obviously coming with, with great power come great responsibility. Like with comes when you get famous, you have all the critics. You have this pressure now. So like it's very, it's just I love how their situations are kind of relating a little bit. And like she's you know this lady has gone has been through it already in a way, and she's like kind of giving advice to Emily just to like be sure. Well, then I suppose I was singing for you. Oh, it's Sue. What did she say? What, what did she say? What is it that you really want? The, the way that she's picturing she wants Sue, that's what she really wants. Don't fucking touch me. The way that they pan up and like it's Sue, right? Fucking hell! She wants Sue. She wants to be with Sue. She wants to be with the woman she loves and she can't. And that's why she wants to write her poems. Because that's how she gets her feelings out. Oh my god, I'm gonna fucking die. What is the deeper yearning that you have, Sue? It's you. What do you mean? What is it that you crave? Her! Sue! Say it. You crave meaning. You crave beauty. Oh my god. Don't fuck! This is what the I did not expect. I know it's not really Sue, but it's Sue. I don't give a fuck. You can say it's a lay. I don't give a fuck. She's. Mm. No, but this is true. She's. Fake Sue is asking the real questions. You crave love. Yes! Long. I'm sorry. They haven't kissed in so long. I feel like I've been freed. <laughs> Shit. My crumbs became a three course fucking meal. Can we just watch it again? Oh, yes! Exactly! Exactly! Sorry. <laughs> Woo! She craves Subit! Oh my god. I will fucking die. That was a lot. Hey, what are you doing there? Now, but did you see? She's kissing Sue, right? And then she looks up and Sam's there. It's like it's saying Sam is of is is the obstacle. Is one of the obstacles. He is stopping her from I don't know, he's it's like he's in the way, he's an obstacle. Sam is an obstacle that we've got to move, that we've got to jump over or get rid of. Like maybe he's stopping Emily. From what she really wants. I don't know. But it just seems funny. She's kissing Sue. And then like she looks up and Sam's there. And then Sue's gone. It's kind of... He's, he's, he is cock blocking my M Sue. <laughs> Shit, man. I mean, listen. The M Sue kiss. It wasn't even really Sue. But it was. In my head... Oh, look, it was it was beautiful. It was, and I've been craving Emma Sue content for a while, like just them two. Like you know, we got in the first episode, we haven't had like a proper 
can scene, you know. But oh my god, that kiss! Oh, bitch, it made me feel things. Oh my god. Under all that fame, she wants you, craves love. Oh my god. I still am thinking about that fucking kiss scene. I can't. That was one of my favorite things I've ever seen in my life. Like, you crave meaning, you crave beauty, you crave love, and then, like, they, oh my god, it was beautiful. I don't care. It was beautiful, man. And, like, <sighs> what she really wants is Sue and her love. And she can't express her love in any other way other than her poetry. And the only reason, or the only way Sue can see her writing is if she publishes it or whatever. Like, I'm just saying shit. I could be totally wrong, but this is what I'm thinking. Like, she, because she can't be with Sue, she got to find a way to be with Sue in another way. And, like, it's it's just, it's it's so, well, it's so good. It's so good that you just... That scene, man. I'll be watching that on repeat, bitch. Play that at my funeral, literally. Like, it's just... It's perfect. It's perfect. Because Sue's what she really craves this whole time. Like, she doesn't crave him. It's Sue. Love. That's what it is. Again, like, Sue's masking her emotions. So is Emily, in a way. It's different, but, like, you know, they're both kind of... Masking their true emotional head, I really feel kind of. So I love parallel. I love when they do shit like this. This is why they're meant for each other. I'm sorry. This is beautiful. Anyway, love the episode. Love that for me. Like first of all, it was the way that her Emily looked at you across the the box. You know, across the uh, across the opera, whatever. Um. And then it was Sue singing, or her, sorry, Emily envisioning Sue singing her poem to her. Because it was, you know, obviously it was her feelings for Sam, but maybe it was really her feelings for Sue. You know? And maybe she's just trying to use Sam to, like, replace Sue in a way. Because, I don't know. Because he can give her things that she wants, but what she really wants is Sue. It's very complicated, but you know what I mean. You, you get me? Like, it's just, oh my god, there's so much meaning behind this shit. But, like, oh my god, that was beautiful. Anyway, so I'm going to pass out now. So, that was my reaction to episode 6. What did you guys think? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you guys for the next one. I love you all, and ciao for now. Bye, guys.